Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Shadow Dread. Right then, so let's get to it. You may all be aware by now of this incident that occurred in Leeds where a 16-year-old autistic girl was basically dragged and arrested for, well, let's read what he actually says on the original statements. I'm not going to play the actual video, although in what part of the video the female officer who, who is involved, which you'll see some pictures of her, um, she said that she didn't care that her child, the child that she was um, about to arrest was autistic. This is not going to go well. It doesn't go well. Uh, West Yorkshire Police not exactly covered themselves in glory, and it's just going to get worse. But we'll cover that in any case. So I'm going to read what's on there, and then I'm going to... Um, not come to any conclusions, but I'm going to put social commentary on what I think about this particular incident and what it means for policing. Right then, it said, uh, this was uh, on the day after, uh, the 10th, yes, yeah, so it was a couple of days ago. West Yorkshire Police Assistant Constable Oz Khan said, we are aware of a video circulating on social media. You can look it up, you know what it is. You sh most of you should have seen it by now which is often the case, only a very limited snapshot of the circumstances of the incident. That is very true and very correct, but even that snapshot was bad enough. Officers had body-worn video cameras activated during the wider involvement with this young girl, which provides additional context to their actions. Then make them visible. Put them in the public domain, then, and let's see exactly what happened. Or did the rest of your officers act like complete idiots in the th near, near Thanaton people? <sighs> we have received a complaint in relation to the incident which is currently being assessed by West Yorkshire's Professional Standards of Directorate, which means nothing will happen. While the outgoing, sorry, the ongoing process of and the active criminal investigation limits our ability to fully discuss the incident in detail, we feel it's important for people to have some context about the circumstances. Okay, fair enough. From 12.12am 12, 12 on Monday the 7th of August, police received calls from a family member of a 16-year-old girl who was reportedly intoxicated and putting herself at risk in Leeds City Centre. Fair enough. Officers attended her at 1am, that's about right, so they turned, took a while getting there, but that's understandable, and drove the teenager to the house so she could be appropriately looked after. That was actually probably the most sensible thing that happened in the whole of this incident. Upon returning to the address, comments were made which resulted in the girl being arrested on suspicion of homophobic public order offence. The nature of the comments was made fully captured on the body-worn video. What the autistic girl said is, you look like my lesbian nana. She was also drunk as well. Now, if, as a police officer, you can't deal with that, let's be brutally honest, the mildest thing you've probably had shouted at you that day, let alone the week. You seriously need to reconsider your employment prospects. But in any case, we'll carry on. Well, I'm returning to her address. Uh, yeah, we've got that. When the girl was eventually fit to be interviewed, interviewers took place with an appropriate adult. So then you gave a shit that she was autistic. And also because she was under the age. But that's beside the point. She was later released on bail pending further inquiry. Apparently the bail was, there was, it was didn't actually have a number set to it. Pending further inquiries and advice from the Crown Prosecution Service. Because one of your officers got her feelings hurt. And he also took seven, that's right, seven people, seven officers to restrain a 16-year-old drunken autistic girl who on the video can be clearly seen smashing her head against the wall because that's what autistic people do and if you wonder how i know this because i've got a grandson who's autistic non-verbal autistic and that's what he does <sighs> any case west yorkshire police takes his responsibilities and the welfare of young people taken into custody around neurodiversity very seriously but your officer said she did not care about her neurodiversity at all. Then arrested her and had seven people drag her out, throw her on the floor and treat her like a piece of dirt or saying something that no offence, if it upsets you, you shouldn't be in the police. 
We also maintain that our officers, officers and staff should have, don't have to face abuse or working to keep our communities safe. Right, okay, I agree with that. How many of these videos do you watch on TV where they're called effing this and effing that and spat out and this that, and the other? Yeah? So pull the other one, it plays fucking jingle bells. We are fully reviewing the circumstances of the incident and ask that people avoid reaching conclusions about it solely on the basis of social media video. Social media video showed your officer being upset by being told that she looked like the girl's lesbian nana and said she did not care about the neurodiversity of the person she was about to arrest. Really. Any case. So we had that. And then eventually, um, I'm trying to find where we got the, the, right. Then this came out um, not much longer after. So, updates on social media video leads. A Friday the 11th of August, that was yesterday when I'm recording this video, this, in relation to the, an incident in Leeds on Monday where a 16-year-old girl was arrested on suspicion of a homophobic public order offence. No offence, but that isn't an offence then it shouldn't be hate speech is bullshit everybody knows it any case West Yorkshire Police has now reviewed the evidence and made the decision to take no further action I wonder why that is are you going to apologise this concludes the criminal investigation and immediate release of the girl from a bail her family has been updated any apology any apology at all yet uh, don't see one West Yorkshire Police's Professional Standards Director continued to carry out a review of the circumstances of receiving a complaint in relation to the incident. Assistant Chief Constable Oz Khan said, We recognise significant level of public concern that the incident has generated and it's fully understandable and acceptable. And if you don't like it, tough shit. And we've moved swiftly to fully review the evidence of a crime that wasn't committed. The criminal investigation led to the decision to take no further action. Ooh, that's big of you. Without preempting the outcome of the ongoing review of the circumstances of our professional service director, we'd like to reassure people that we will take it on burn. Any lessons learned from this incident? Bollocks. Absolute raging, steaming bollocks. You won't do shit. And we'll talk about that in a minute. While we do appreciate understandable sensitivities around incidents involving young people and neurodiversity, we are generally committed to develop how we respond to these in very challenging situations. She didn't care. She sat there on camera and went, I, when her mum went, she's got autism, she went, I don't care. Because you've upset my feelings. And I'm going to arrest someone because my feelings were hurt. This is the state of the police force now, genuinely. I mean, this is... There you go. 1990. We just want to be left alone to love. And you know what? You were. Only bigots don't celebrate us. 2012. Bow to me. 2023. That's what people are going to see now. That's what people are going to do. Then we get things like this. Here we go. Britain's policing priorities 2023. This is not going away for West Yorkshire Police. Police arrest autistic teenager who said officer looked like her lesbian nana. This is the 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 pathetic, thin-skinned police officer. You know, how her feelings hurt? And then we get this. So West Yorkshire police won't investigate when an autistic lad is terrified by death threats for scoffing a copy of the Quran, but will send a fleet of officers to the door of an autistic girl who suggested that one of their officers looked like a lesbian. I'd laugh if it wasn't so depressing. Remember that? That was that kid who did it by accident. Didn't even damage the book, remember? Because we were kowtowed to the Muslim belief. But if somebody calls somebody out because their feelings were hurt. So feelings are all that matters now. That's all that matters. Then we have this, which is true. Former police officer Harry Miller of West Yorkshire Police's lesbian comments on a 16-year-old autistic girl this was a home invasion by an organised crime gang called West Yorkshire Police. There she is. 
Little Miss, I don't like my feelings being hurt because I'm a police person. Whatever. Now this, you know, this particular lady right here is, if you look, zoom in on this picture just here, so I'm going to bring the picture up a bit bigger. You see this one here, there, and look who's there on the Pride March, you know, because this is what policing's all about now. Yeah, there's the West, you know, the West Yorkshire police flag. And it's even gone, yeah, Fox News. Autistic girl screams and cries as a police arrester after a comment about an officer. Donut operator, one of my favourite uh, YouTubers. They arrest a 16-year-old girl on suspicion of being homophobic. So fucking gay. Because this is all that matters to our police nowadays. This. There's another video I'm going to do shortly about the police and uh, the cult that this is now affecting. But it is wrong for an officer to arrest somebody because they upset their feelings. Time and time again we see this sort of stuff and it's getting beyond the joke. This is why people do not trust the police anymore. They're now seen as the Stasi, the secret police of the alphabet community's agendas. You can't do this, you can't do that. I'm going to arrest you because you upset my feelings. Absolutely disgraceful behaviour. But nothing will happen to her. Why won't nothing happen to her? Well, that'll be because she's a lesbian. HR won't touch her with a 20 metre cow prod because just like she knows and just like Muslim officers know, just like any other officer who is in a box ticking situation, they know full well that they are not going to get sacked, they are not going to get kicked out, they're not going to get ticked off by anything because they'll just go, you're picking on me because of insert box ticking name. And you wonder why Britain is so lawless, not just because of the massive immigration problem that we have here in the UK with over 100,000 illegal immigrants now currently in this country that we know of, and it's costing us millions of pounds per day to look after and their imports. But because no one trusts the police, and even if you do phone them, they never turn up. In any case, I'm done with this one. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and if you would, subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. Social media is up above, as always, because you know what it is nowadays. Before we go, please make sure you go and get yourself a little blood test. Men and women, but especially men, because we can be stubborn little sods when it comes to this. Get a test. You know I have diabetes. That's why it's up on the screen. But it doesn't just pick up that. It picks up many, many other things. And it's just worth it. Even if you just go in and find out there's nothing wrong with you. At least you know. And the other thing you need to do is uh, get out of my shed.